Hey y'all, uh, I just got this my guitar from uh, eBay. I got one of these, uh, it's a uh, Davison guitars that they're selling on there by the dozen or whatever. And uh, it is, I'm really surprised. This thing doesn't sound bad for one. It only has, it has like discoloration in the, in the uh, finish in one little spot. And that's it. It's like, it's got a little couple of tiny little teeny scratches on it. But it ain't nothing that you can just really even see. It was an incredible value. For $42 I got this. Look at this. I took the back off there. I'm going to get ready to do my Frankenstrat project. This is like the perfect guitar for a Frankenstrat project in my opinion. It already has the placement for the pickup in the right spot. You can add an EMG81 to that, and that'll really be something else anyway. Here's my guitar. Pretty sweet. Okay, the first part is done. I got this all routered out now down down here. 3 sixteenths. So now we're on to the next piece of the puzzle. And that is to cut that hole in and make it that all the way through. But I'm gonna go down to the shop to do that. It's coming along. Alright. I'm back from the shop and it's all whittled. Yes, we use the Dremel Moto tool. And we even did the tone ledge. Did the tone ledge, and we did the the uh, taper. Yep, we tapered it down to the seven eighths with the tone ledge. And so I just got done cleaning it up, so I'm about ready to put the. Uh, coat of paint on top there anyway it's looking good it came out good general model tools do some nice stuff and I had not an idea how I would do this other than that and it took a little while but the efforts worth it because otherwise you're gonna pay seven hundred dollars <laughs> Okay, it's all done. It's on and installed. And it's great. And it's adjusted and tuned. I painted it all back in there. Made it all nice. Yeah. It came out good. All suited right in there. 